Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do category number four for the FabFitFun spoilers and all the research that I found on this category. The first item is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. It has a $20 MSRP and you're gonna get four ounces. It comes in a bottle. I own this bottle, it's somewhere in my house, but I have no idea where it is. So I can't actually show you. It has to me a little bit of a clean and also a little bit of a salon scent, like common, you know what the salon smells like. But I do think it has a great scent for me personally. Let's talk a little bit about the ingredients on this one. So I'm actually gonna talk about a lot on here. It does have silicone, so this is not a silicone-free hair product, and a lot of people do try to avoid silicone in their hair products. It's the fourth ingredient, actually, and the reason why people avoid silicone is because it causes buildup on your hair and it's difficult to remove the buildup. So it actually adds weight to your hair, also doesn't let your hair absorb moisture into it because it has this layer of silicone around it. So that's why some people avoid it, especially I believe if you have really curly hair or naturally curly hair, I think you avoid silicone when you have really curly hair, especially. The next ingredient to talk about is the Camilla Sinesis leaf extract. That's how it's listed on the ingredients list, but it's green tea extract. That's really moisturizing ingredient, and also it helps stimulate or start blood flow in your scalp, and that promotes hair growth. So it actually can encourage your hair to grow longer or sooner. Another ingredient on here with a really long name is the sunflower seed oil. It's the helianthus. I'm not gonna be able to say these words, but I'll put it up on screen for you. That one is sunflower seed oil. That one's really good because it contains linoleic acid and that basically helps prevent hair loss. So the green tea is helping promote hair growth and then the sunflower oil is preventing hair loss. And then this one also is a natural sunscreen so it protects your hair. It's like providing sunscreen for your hair. So you get to keep your color longer, like it keeps the color of your hair bright. The next ingredient I highlighted is silk amino acids. Silk amino acids actually bind to keratin, so it strengthens each hair and then it helps prevent breakage. You know when our hair is weak and it kind of breaks at random places or we get the split ends and everything like that. So this helps prevent that, having those silk amino acids. Now, another negative on here is it does contain three different parabens. So it's not paraben free, so it's not silicone free and it's not paraben free, which is something most people look for. So if that's something you look for, then you probably wanna skip this product. This one has 4.7 stars though with 28,319 reviewers. So that's so many reviewers and to still keep that 4.7, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good rating. The positives are all about what it does for your hair. So it does reduce frizz. There was a lot of people with positive comments saying they really saw a reduction in frizz. There was also a lot of positive comments about detangling your hair, that it made it really easy to brush your hair afterwards. Best detangular, a lot of people are saying that. And then the last ingredient was that it's moisturizing your hair. So you have softer hair after use, after prolonged use of this leave-in treatment. The negatives were that it had a sticky feeling or that it left a residue, and the residue is very common of hair products with silicone. Then the rest of the negatives were really about the bottle, just the shape, the size, um, also the nozzle, that it would get clogged and they weren't even halfway done with their product. So it was a lot about the packaging more than the actual product. This is a beauty product and it is cruelty free, but not only is it cruelty free, it is Leaping Bunny certified, which means the entire supply chain is involved in getting cruelty free and it's recognized internationally. So the next product is really similar. It's the, it's a 10 leave-in treatment plus keratin though. So this adds keratin, it's $22 instead of $20 and it's still four ounces. It has pretty much all the same ingredients I talked about before. This one doesn't have vitamin C, but I didn't really talk about that before, but that is actually a good ingredient for hair as well. And this one has two additional ingredients, hydrolyzed keratin and keratin amino acids. However, this one still does have silicone. It still does have parabens. So if you're avoiding the first one, you're also gonna be avoiding this one as well. This has pretty similar reviews too. It has a 4.7 star, this one with 27,000 reviewers. So the other one had 28,000, this one has 27,000. Kind of crazy that there's this many reviewers. This definitely is kind of showing that either the product has been around for a very long time or the product is a holy grail item where everybody goes and buys it, all the influencers go and influence about it and all of that. So that's usually when you get something 
with this many reviews. Their reviews were pretty similar. The positives definitely mentioned Detangling again. It also mentioned Frizz again. This one, however, a lot of people mentioned that it improved damage hair. So from bleaching or color treating, or they just had a lot of hair damage, they saw repair of their hair or some sort of something like that in the comments. Like they either use the word repair or so that they, like it helped their damaged hair get healthier or, or anything like that. The negatives also had some of the same similar things about it leaving a residue or film, also the sticky feel. However, this one also said that they felt a greasy feel. When I think of greasy, I think of slippery and oily, not of sticky. So some people mentioned greasy. In the first one, I couldn't find any comments that use that word. In the second one, I found multiple. So there's definitely something maybe about the keratin that makes it a little more slippery instead of tacky feeling to it. And this one also mentioned about the nozzle getting clogged or breaking but this one did not mention anything about the bottle shape. It is the same bottle shape though, which we saw negative reviews on the first bottle. And again, not only is it cruelty-free, but it's Leaping Bunny certified, which is even better than cruelty-free, internationally recognized, and includes the entire supply chain. Now the next one is another It's the 10, but it's It's a 10 coily leave-in treatment. And this is also four ounces. This one's $25 retail value, so it keeps increasing as we go. This has a lot of different ingredients though. So I'm gonna go through the ingredients. You can forget the first two. So this one has a pea peptide that can also stimulate the follicle and encourage hair growth. So there's a lot of growth in all of these, like promoting hair growth. This one has coconut oil in it. I love coconut oil. I have very dry, frizzy hair. I have curly hair and my hair just drinks up coconut oil. My skin hates it, but my hair loves it. So I do like to look for that as an ingredient. And I have curly hair and this is definitely, because it's called coily miracle leave-in, it's definitely made for curly hair. This one also has hydrolyzed rice protein. Rice protein is meant to encourage hair growth as well. This also will strengthen your hair. Then a cocoa seed butter, shea butter, again, very moisturizing ingredients. Avocado oil, another moisturizing ingredient, really good for like a hair mask. This is a leave-in treatment, but I feel like all these ingredients are so moisturizing. Then it has the Gardenia Titanus flower extract. This, when you mix it with coconut oil, actually creates it, a different oil that they call Manoy oil. It's used in Tahiti for, it's really good for moisturizing hair with really low porosity because the particles are super small. So if you have these little small particles going into the pores of your hair, it nourishes your hair. Tahitian beauty, like hair, they have like long, gorgeous hair and it's just like amazing. So this is one of their beauty secrets. They mix it with that coconut oil, the two together to make the Manoy oil. So I'm sure I'm also probably not saying that right, but it's spelled M-O-N-O-I, and that's the combination of those two ingredients, which this does have, because it had the coconut oil, like I said, up above. For this one, there was not enough reviews available. There was eight reviews. I don't like to talk about trends in reviews when there's only eight reviews. It's not a good enough sample size. It is also a cruelty-free Leaping Bunny certified because it's all the same company. Next up is the Josie Maron, or Mayran, something like that. We can't pronounce things on this channel whipped body butter and this is in citrus or sweet citrus i believe yes sweet citrus it's made of argan oil so it's the argan oil body butter it is a 38 dollars retail value and you get eight ounces in the container for ingredients let's talk about ingredients it does have that argan oil as the second ingredient so that's pretty good when it's named the product is named after it and you see it really high up on the list i love that this one has capric caprylic or capric triglyceride, which is if you mixed coconut oil with glycerin and they had a little baby. That's what you're getting here. It has sunflower seed oil. Sunflower seed oil, I mentioned it for the hair care, but it's also good for our skin. This is actually a balancing oil, so it's good at balancing the oil you have on your skin. If you're too dry, it can moisturize. If you're too oily, it can reduce it. It's a really great balancing oil. I feel like it's really good for all skin types. Another interesting ingredient in here, it has grapefruit seed oil, which is really good for acne. Even though this is for your body, you could still get acne. That's possible that that's why they put it in here. I don't know its other benefits really in moisturizing, but it is an oil. Then it has aloe leaf juice. I love that ingredient. It's a very soothing ingredient. This one has avocado oil as well, another moisturizing ingredient. This one does have the green tea extract. It is anti-inflammatory. It's also antioxidant, antimicrobial, and it decreases puffiness. So I really love green tea for skincare. This one also has white tea extract as well, by the way. 
and has beta carotene. I talked about that actually in an earlier video when I was doing reviews, really high in antioxidants, great antioxidant for your skin. I like to look for that ingredient as well. That basically helps protect from future damage from our natural environment, from sun rays and all of that because antioxidants help with oxidation, but also repairs some of the damage already done by those things, by our natural environment. It's smog, smoke, like everything we do to our skin is what causes those free radicals and this helps with that. This product is paraben free, cruelty free, and phthalate free. It is restricted to the UK though, so it's only gonna be available for the FabFitFun customers in Canada and the US. For the reviews, it has 4.3 stars with 12,380 reviewers, and definitely a lot of great reviews for like dry skin, super moisturizing. Also that has a thicker consistency, so it really works great as a body butter, you know, just absorb, be able to absorb into your skin and like more like a luxurious feel instead of a thin lotion you get out of a bottle. The negatives were that it left an oily feeling or that it felt too heavy. So that could also be a positive or a negative. Earlier I said it was positive because it was thick, but then maybe the heavy feeling could be also, some people don't like that feeling. But the most in the negative reviews was about the scent, either being a chemical scent or a plastic scent. However, the reviews that I got were for all the different scents. So it's not specifically just this sweet citrus. And it felt like most of the negative reviews about the plastic. So some said chemical and some said plastic. Chemical was kind of in all of them, but plastic was mostly for the French vanilla or vanilla. So it might not apply to this one, but it might, I have no idea. Some people said that they thought it was from the container that like the container maybe caused the scent as well. I can't figure out where my measuring tape is. The next item has measurements. Unfortunately, I can't show you on screen. I'll just be able to tell you what the measurements are, but it is from Favor and it is their spoon rest in gray. It's stoneware and it's hand dipped, which is really cool as a $30 retail value. And for the measurements, 6.96 inches. So about seven inches and then 4.76, 4.76 inches on the website for Favor. It says four by four by seven. So this looks like it's seven by almost five, but maybe they're rounding both Nope, they're rounding one up and one down. I don't know how they're getting it, but then it's also one inch high. You just rest your spoon on it, it sits in your kitchen. I do like it actually. I don't know if this will end up in my box or not, but I do think it's really pretty. Uh, there's not really much information other than that. It is dishwasher safe. That's the last thing I found, but that's all the information I found on this particular product. The next item is from Montreban and it is a silver cuff. I have one, I don't have the exact one that they have. They have the thin version that says, she believes she could, so she did, I think. She believes she could, so she did, yes. I have one that came in the FabFitFun advent calendar, and this is what that looks like. This one says believe, which is kind of perfect for an advent calendar, but I wanted to show you how it's adjustable because that is kind of the main benefit of these is they could fit any wrist size. I have really small wrists and I just always have really small wrists. I don't know why, born this way, but you can make it larger or you can make it as small as you want on that wrist. This one is much thicker. So the other one's really thin band, but it's gonna have that same adjustable you know what it's called. This is actually made not of silver, it's just the color is silver, it's made of stainless steel. The stainless steel is engraved and then they use ink to fill it. So for what it says, it's not just printed on top, it's actually engraved and then filled with that ink. It's also hypoallergenic having stainless steel. So if you have allergies to some metals, stainless steel usually should not cause that issue and it has a lifetime guarantee. I don't know if we get the same lifetime guarantee, but all the mantra bands come with a lifetime guarantee against breakage because they're so strong, especially this one being thin. So you could probably contact the company even if you got it through FabFitFun if it ever does break. This one is also UK restricted, so it's only gonna be available in Canada and US for FabFitFun customers, Canada, US. I really don't like it when they do that in the same category. Like why are both the UK restricted items in the same category? They should probably spread it, but whatever. And this time they didn't give the UK their own item as like 
a backup item. I feel like last time, whenever something was restricted, they had one that was like Canada only when it was restricted to Canada. So I don't know why they didn't do that this time, probably some supply chain issues, which I completely understand now that I own my own business, but still it's just, it bugs me. I'm not even in the UK and it bugs me for my UK like subscribers out there watching me right now. It bugs me for you. It really does. But enough about that. They are a 1% for the planet company. That means that 1% of their sales goes to environmental causes. I do love companies that do that. And like I said, I do really love this company. Online, I found on their site that these are made in China. So if that does bother you, I think the quality is great for the one that I have, but some people do like to know if something's made in China or not. And this one is. This one does have some pretty good reviews too, though. It has 4.7 stars with 208 reviews. The reviews are on Amazon, but the Amazon seller is Montraband, like the company Montraband, so it's not a reseller. And most of the positives were just how beautiful it looks, or a lot of them were gifts, so the positives were like, this person loved it, so it might be great for gift as well. And um, most of the positives mentioned also like how great it is that it's so adjustable and it can fit any wrist size pretty much. So that is your category number four. Hopefully I get this up before the end of customization for annuals. Five and six will have to come later. I thought I might be able to get five in, but there was just no way because there was just no way. So I did my best. Five and six will be out soon in the next week or two. So it'll be before the seasonal subscribers have to end their customization. You'll definitely see five and six before that. That is all I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.